Taimur is the northernmost peninsula in the world. In the springtime, Siberian barren ground reindeer move as far as 600 kilometers towards the Arctic Ocean. They return to the south in the autumn. The Naganasans, nomadic hunters, followed the reindeer herds to this place. From a linguistic standpoint, the most distant relatives of the Nganasans are the Finns, Estonians, and Hungarians. There are 600 Nganasans all told. They dwell in an area of 130,000 square kilometers. Coping with life in such vast spaces and timescales has molded their language, way of life, and spiritual culture. Their camp of lodges is called Maya in Naganasan. In Estonian and Finnish, the word Maya also means a dwelling place. When compulsory education reached the Avam River and Mount Diamodikara, Demnime was already an adult. He is a ninth generation shaman who never turned his back on the ancient culture. The whole family is helping Demnime to prepare for a long journey. The cooking hearth is being transformed into an offering fireplace. The drum awakens and begins to sound. Nine projections around the edges of the drum symbolize the nine dark months in mother's womb, or the nine dark months of the year. The inside of the drum is decorated with a nomadic hunter's bow and their reindeer hunting grounds. The drum is regarded as a human being that travels in time and space. Seven boughs separate Demnima's seat from the surface of the earth. Now the shaman can easily defy gravity while moving between our world and that of the deceased and connect the past of the ancestors with the future of unborn generations and thus have total control over time and space. Reindeer and ermine, the kuoika, protectors of the lodge, have been brought in from the sacred sleigh. Kaikui, the supports of the cooking vessel, obstruct both the offering smoke and the shaman. During migrations, the woman marks every hearth with a stone or a snowball. The lodge is then erected around it. The hearth is the center of their lives and dwellings. It is also an entryway to the past and future. One's ancestors live in the offering fire and its smoke shows the way to the other world. An offering of reindeer fat is fed into the hearth. After this, the fire must not be allowed to go out. Because of this, the bellows, the kadha, are used uninterruptedly. Herku is finishing the preparations for her husband's journey. The folk costumes have geometrical decorations. The Nganasans depict people and animals only on the shaman's clothing, the shamanic drum, and the protectors of the lodge. Tell me, Demnime, where does the offering smoke go? 
Life and death meet at the sacred Dutete Grove, which is three kilometers from Demnimis camp. The Death Lodge, Matalirma. A living tree is the lodge's sacred pillar. The earliest dwelling place of the Uralic tribes was under the branches of a spruce. Its trunk, a sacred pillar, supported the heavens. In the archaic death lodge of the Naganasans, large trees have replaced spruces. A sleigh awaits the dead person, pointed north. Only the Nagana sons have the women's sleigh, the Nagadumie. A woman is given a lodge to take on her journey, and her draft reindeer is sacrificed. Tell me, Demnime, how long am I going to live?